Good evening and welcome to my shop and this is a continuation uh, of that puller arrangement. So this is the sleeve <coughs> that I need to make three holes in and um, I've, uh, I've done the first one, that I've set, on, set the table on zero. Uh, this, um, uh, this table <coughs> has markings along on both sides here and also on on the sides here and here so with that you could you can adjust it's made to work on that that quadrant um, and to give you all dimensions so I've I set it up it's, this is the first time this machine's worked since we bought it in the other day on Sunday what's today Wednesday Monday we bought it in so Wednesday I've made up um, I machined this adapter head that was on here before and, and put an adapter sleeve in for the Morse taper to give me the chuck availability. I'm now going to set it up to drill the second hole and you'll be able to see me working on that. So we'll, we'll work through that second hole. And uh, this is the first time I've, uh, I've used this machine and it's the first time I've used a horizontal borer. I've wanted one for a long time. I've seen many, but this is the first time. So this is our Kearns uh, S-type and uh, we're going to wander around here and I'm picking up the markings and I'll, I'll do another uh, I'll do another um, um, movie just on the table itself. So that's, we're marking here on, on uh, picking up 30 degrees which is basically 60. So we have to go around some more and, um, and pick up the next one the next which is, should be around about here so we've got there's a 30 degree mark uh, you can't see it in the, in the thing but I can see it so there we have it we're on the 30 degree I, I pre-marked before uh, expecting that to be the 120 degrees and then we'll have to turn in the other direction to do the other one so um, this is a pre-mark that I put on here just to, with, the, with the Sharpie and I believe we're okay now. So what we'll do is we'll lock the table up um, and we'll now proceed to, to show you the, the little Kearns S-type uh, borer in action. Most of us are used to working with round tables um, and um, I've, I've figured out how, how this thing is going to operate and it's quite simple, um, not having any uh, uh, instructions or anything for, for the machine, um, but it's, very, it's quite simple, it's faster speed, this will do is 500 RP, 510 RPM and that's what we're using uh, to drill this. So what we're doing we're piloting, um, we're, centre, we're centre drilling, we're piloting, we're drilling a 6mm, we're then drilling a 12mm and then we're picking up uh, with a little dead centre in the chuck, we're, cent we're centering up at hand uh, starting the tapping and then we'll move the table away uh, and hand tap at the rest. Uh, this is an M14 we're doing. I've locked the table in this direction with the lock down here. No trusty black stuff. We've got a bit of model here. I said the drill picks up a little bit over there. to 
happen while we're talking and, uh, and showing. But we've broken the end off that carbide um, of the carbide center drill. These, these are replaceable uh, ones, I can just turn them around. Uh, we'll have to get that, that out. So, <coughs> who better than Mr. Getter out to get her out? Hopefully. Give it a bit of a blow. Be all right there. We'll soon know when we go to uh, go to drill the pilot. And they're quite a simple machine, and we'll do some um, movies on that in the future. I just thought it'd be be nice for people to see. Um, See the machine in action. I might just swig it a bit more over here um, and maybe even bring it in a bit uh, so you can see some close up action here. Hopefully, you'll be able to see me in action a bit as well. Um, there we go. So Here we have a lever for the low and the high high speed, uh, so the low and the high, and then uh, down below we've got three speed adjustments electric, electrically. Um, the boat, it's, a, it's got three windings, the motor. All right, now we'll go to the, uh, the 12 bill. This, this, this machine's a facing, uh, a, what they call a, uh, uh, a facing chuck um, model. Uh, it doesn't have a shaft all the way through like a boring, uh, boring unit is. We still call it a boring and facing machine. So the only boring we can do is with anything extended out here. Um, and, uh, and from that it's, it's a, a little bit disadvantaged as against a boring, a uh, general conventional boring machine, but still works fine. a brake or anything like that. Um, it's a very simple machine but that's what I like about it. Uh, I'm a simple person so I like simple machines. Uh, Adam will be very pleased with seeing this. The first, uh, first job this machine's done. So now what we're going to do is we're going to put in a little dead centre. that 
to line up to line up the tap while we do the tapping. Uh, just to get just to get the start. And we've got that in there, and I'm just going to start on it because it's just too much to be working with this handle like that. Although I can put the bigger handle on. Can put the. I'm going to use it. I've used the bigger handle to um, to do the job. Now that can come in here. I just put my knee against it. And it just makes it easier. Once once we've got the start there, anyway, we can pull it aside and finish the job. And there we go. Tapped our second hole, and now we go to index it around uh, to the third hole. Take these off. And the third hole will go the other way around because <coughs> we don't want to run into that thing. So the third hole it doesn't do anything anyway. I just slid it under there for, for fun, but it's not actually doing anything. You've caught, you've caught me out tonight. Right, so we'll swing this around, and we should be brick coming on to 30 degrees here on this line. That line there, 30 degrees. And I reckon we're, right, we're spot on there. And we can clamp that up. These aren't the original clamps, but uh, we will we will uh, source them. These machines come either with with a with a rotary type or uh, with a uh, round one, or the square one was their standard. Um, and after using this for the first time, I don't have a problem with it at all. In fact, it's, it's better than the round one. It gives you much more abilities here. So we now have to repair um, and replace the, uh, the cutter. Um, and whether anybody, whether there's people out there that know these particular type, this is a this is a nine, and that that fits in here. So you could reverse it. I've broken the one off. We could reverse it, take the other one off. Um, I find these extremely good. Uh, specific particularly in stainless steel and, and hard steels. Um, I find that uh, they're not so good in, in, in soft materials. They, they seem to um, bind up, particularly things like aluminium. Uh, so in those cases, I use the, um, I use the high speed. <coughs> These all come with a, with a plug. A flat for bolting up in um, CNC, so you've just got to make sure when you're putting it in that it's against the hole and not and not where one of the teeth are. Um, otherwise, it will run off centre.
the great thing about this machine is it's complementing my two milling machines. And it gives me far more um, uh, far more abilities in, in jobs like this, which are quick to set up, um, easy to do, um, and uh, if necessary, we can also take this off, lift lift that table off, and put a uh, um, <coughs> put a rotating table on uh, an indexing table, and use that to um, to do work. So if we need something that's needs to be more uh, more options, but um, with with angles and so forth, but. I think this will do quite a lot of the work that we need. And as I say, I've got three, I've got three uh, indexing tables, so um, even a big 14 inch one. And this table, by the way, is about 18 inches square. many a job where I need that, that extra reach and uh, with this machine I'll be able to do far more as the counterbalance knocking backwards and forwards, the bell calling people to church, the believers. I'm still going to level the machine up. I'm not uh, not really concerned about it, um, but I will be doing all of that and cleaning it up, of course, and uh, doing all the things that I would normally do. The TLC. So there we have it, our uh, fine boring machine, uh, its first job here in its new home and um, I'm extremely pleased with how quickly I could set it up, get it running, uh, understand the, the workings of it. Um, we will do many more on this little machine and, um, and Adam 
All the best, mate. You, um, you'd love to have one of these at home, I know. Cheerio.